I really uh, would encourage people to watch uh, Michael Conti's film of Hildegard of the Unruly Mystic. I think the film beautifully captures Hildegard's spirit as the uh, patron saint of creativity, uh, but also I think it, it brings her to life uh, in a very unique way for the 21st century. Scholars that are interviewed and the, the ministers that are interviewed, I think really are doing beautiful work in, in terms of how they're taking this 12th century genius, a creative genius, and, and making her applicable and approachable in the 21st century. To be a superstar in the Middle Ages meant to excel in holiness. And yes, she was. She was recognized um, by people, not just in Germany, but all over Europe. I think the diverse uh, interpretations and approaches to her um, from the uh, perspective of her music and her health and her theology, um, I think really comes out in the film as well, because Hildegard was multifaceted. Uh, you, can't, you can't even box her in one category as a theologian or an artist or a musician. I mean, she was all of, all of those things and, and more. And I think the uh, Unruly Mystic beautifully captures um, every piece of her, you know, her, her creativity and, and her creative genius and, and really does present her in a beautiful way as a patron saint of creativity. Carl Jung says it's to the mystics that uh, there belongs what is best in humanity. So it's not just about religion, but it's about humanity itself getting on its feet and being itself, its better self, its authentic self. For that too, the mystics lead the way because they're at the edge of human consciousness and um, they're wrestling with the extremes, whether it's wrestling with the extremes of evil or the extremes of ecstasy and of, of creativity. Uh, they, they have so much to say. Hildegard is a good example.